ironing out the kinks in the system in the hope that these sorts of collisions can be avoided out on the road. That's the goal for Michael Wagner, CEO of Pittsburgh-based Edge Case Research. Their job is to try and make robots safer. And Wagner says the Steel City is the perfect place to set up shop. He credits Pittsburgh's Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute that's been running since 1979. It attracted people that were into robotics before robotics had a lot of commercial applications. So when the commercial applications showed up and, and, and became uh, apparent, they had to come to Pittsburgh because that's where the hundreds of experts in this field all were, all were working. Some major companies have invested heavily in Pittsburgh as they attempt to perfect self-driving cars. Ford has put $1 billion into a joint venture with Pittsburgh-based Argo AI as it aims to have a fully autonomous vehicle by 2021. And they aren't the only ones using Pittsburgh to change the driving landscape. Here in Pittsburgh, ordering a car through the ride-sharing app Uber can be a little different. They've launched a pilot fleet of autonomous vehicles here in the city. So when you get collected, there's a chance you'll be riding in a self-driving car. Some believe this technology can help propel a city that was hit hard when the steel industry went into decline. The future of work is changing for everybody and we're at the epicenter of the, the, the top talent in those technologies that are going to make robotics and make artificial intelligence useful for our future. The tech sector may be growing in Pittsburgh but US President Donald Trump has also vowed to put those in the steel industry back to work and ordered a trade investigation into exporters of cheap steel. The carry furnace employed 15,000 people during its heyday, but that was 70 years ago, and many believe it's impossible to rekindle that level of employment now. Optimistically, that, you know, it would be great because what that means is more jobs and more prosperity and people working. The reality of the answer is, even if it does come back, in some form, it's not going to be what it was. When this plant was built more than 100 years ago, it was a cutting edge facility. While times and the industry have changed, those here still see it as a reminder of this city's history of innovation. William Denslow, CGTN, Pittsburgh.